Hello everybody, and yes, I am a sheep. I have also decided to have a look at converting some of these little gliders. Uh, they're actually a lot bigger than I thought they were when I first went and got them. I actually bought three. I bought two of the red and white. I want to actually give to uh, a family member of mine. To maybe, you never know, might be a, the thing that gets them into planes. Um, uh, but I also got one of them for myself. I also got the black and orange one, which was the two different colours I had there. And the modifications have already started. If you want to see what these are like stock, there's plenty of other videos on the internet. So, modifications. First things first... I cut the wing in half. Now you might be asking why. The main reason why is so that I can assemble each wing half and then put it into the fuselage afterwards. Otherwise I'd have to kind of slot it in, then build all the equipment around it and you can never get the wing off. Whether it will stay removable, probably unlikely. I'll probably get a rod between it and glued in, to be really honest with you. But if I show you the other wing without knocking over my can of Pepsi Raspberry. Um, as you can see, I have cut out the aileron, um, just to give you a rough size guide. This isn't a how-to, and to be honest with you, I haven't watched any proper little videos. The only one I saw was um, uh, Thingy Bob, who was doing the um, tilter on. So, it is an inch and a quarter. From the back of the trailing edge all the way across there and also from here as well because there was like a, a kink in these wings it's easy if I showed you this one as you can tell there is a kink in the back edge of the wing um, now I believe it's two inches from the wing tip yep and it is I believe seven inches yep from the center of the sort of dimple in the middle of the wings, which should hopefully be the centre of the whole wing. Um, we are going to be using, of course, the MG90S's. Um, so I cut that out. That's been sunk in. Ready to go across. The cable is just about long enough to get into the fuse and hash. Um, so yeah, that's that for now. I'm just going to like, cut a 45 degree arrow into the wing or into the aileron. Uh, and then hinge it from the top. Uh, now as for the fuselage, I actually have the soldering iron on behind me, a crappy old one, don't use a decent one, use a, buy, you know, buy a £10 one off eBay and use that. Uh, but I cut out, so you can sort of see the two different layers I did it, um, with the soldering iron. Um, if I bring the soldering iron over, so it's just like a cheap one, it's like one of the um, other ones that I use, but it's some cheap brand I've never heard of. Um, the only problem I would say with it is the fact that it smells like the power just went out. That's fun. It smells like um, public bathroom. But anyway, put the power back on. Okay, so I realise that this is going to be quite a short video, but basically when the power went out, I used the residual energy in the soldering iron just to uh, cut out a little bit more. That was really it. Um, and the fuselage is kind of done for now. Until we get the wings sorted, um, uh, so I have here more or less a finished wing. So, servos glued in with the cable coming out of here, decent amount left there to connect it up with. Um, I've also used, this is 2mm 50cm or 500mm long carbon tube from Banggood that I just snipped in half. Um, but this is actually my last piece, I've just ordered like £10 worth, it's like 25 pieces of it. because. Um, not only have I got to build this one, which is going to have the same on the other side of the wing and some in the tail. Also for what I'm planning on doing with the other one I have, I'm going to need a lot of carbon fiber. And it's good to just have one hand anyway. Um, so, so the servo is in. Now the ailerons... That's how much... ...down we have. I think that'll be enough. That carbon glued in, servo in, one of these clippy servo horns, which I need to put a dab of glue on, and uh, then hinged on top with uh, clear gorilla tape. But yeah, 